Yeah. German government collected my children again. I did not do anything. They just walked to my house and took my children away from me. They said I'm not going to see them again. I did not do anything. Please help oh, please help oh, this channel. If it is your first time and you like what I do here, after watching this video, please subscribe to this platform. Subscribe to this channel. Put on your notification bell. It's very, very important because it will enable you to know when I upload a new video. Here, I talk about life in Germany. I talk about motherhood. I help women who are trying to conceive by teaching them their fertile days so that they will be able to conceive. Now, I am here to trash this thing that has been happening that have been reoccurring, especially from foreigners, or would I say African women in Germany. Most of the time you see them posting, coming out on Facebook or social media platform crying. My government collected my children from me. I did not do anything. I did not do this. They collected. Now I'm going to tell you the reason why a German government will collect your child from you. It's not forcefully, but it's to teach you a lesson and for the betterment of that child. Number one is this. When your child always come late to school. Now, everything that is happening here, because here is a civilized world. When I mean here, I'm referring to Germany. It's a civilized world. The people living in it is civilized and they expect you to be civilized regardless of any country you come from you must obey you must abide by their rules and regulations now some people are always saying that germans they don't like giving birth they don't like producing children do you know why here if you decide to be a mother you should also decide to take responsibility of that child, not for the sake of giving birth, like some of us in Africa, our own is just like we want to give birth. When you give birth to them, you start sending them out for other people to train you. No. Here, once you give birth, you will take responsibility of taking care of these children. Now, if your child is always late at school, when other people are in class learning, your child will be coming in. They will be watching you. The teachers will be writing. Before you know it, they will start investigating, knowing, finding out why this child is coming to school late. So if they find out that the mistake is from you, that you are not doing what you're supposed to do as a mother, as a parent, they will take this child from you because you are spoiling the future of this child. Another reason that the German government can take your child away from you is this. Education is a must in, in Germany. Education is compulsory in Germany. You know, in other African countries, when you don't have money, you decide that your child will not go to school. They will be at home or you will send them to go and be selling or making money. It's not like that here. Once your child clock six years, he or she must attend school. When they find out that your child is six years and he or she is not in school, they will start investigating. And here, mind you, if you cannot train your child, if you don't have the resources to train your child, the government of the country will help you. Besides, education here is free. It's only some states that you buy textbook on your own. Education is free. So there is no reason, there is no excuse that you will give that make you not to send your child in school. So when they find out that you are not sending this child to school because they don't want to end up training nuisance. You remember, when people are not educated, they didn't learn work. You, you see, when they grow up, either they become bandit or they start stealing or start spoiling something in the country. This is what they are avoiding, which I give them credit to, which is very, very good. A lot of people causing mayhem in other countries may be as a result of this. Once you are not educated, you don't have hand work, it's a problem. Your future is calm. So if they find out that you are not sending your child to school, they will come and take this child away. Not only taking your child, they will do the thing that you as a mother, you as a parent supposed to do. They will do it for you. So I hope you are getting me. By the time you start shouting, they take my child away from me, they did this. Would you also tell people what you did? The next thing that will warrant them to take the child away from you 
is when your child is violent. Yes, some of the children, when they come to school, they behave abnormal. They start fighting, hitting other children. They will be monitoring the child and they will complain to you. So if the child did not change or if the child continued doing this, they will say, oh, maybe the parents are always fighting in the presence of this child. They are trying to inculcate violence on this child. Then they will take the child away from you. What they are doing is that they are saving this child. I know it hurts. It's very, very painful for you to give birth. Somebody will come and collect it from you. But then, in the other way, hand, if you, if you look at it very well, they are saving this child. Because if they leave the child with you in that condition, of, uh, in that condition, he or she might grow up and become a nuisance to the community. Did you get that? So the next reason they can take your child away from you is this. Remember, this is not only applicable to foreigners. Even the citizens, even the German citizens, if they do the same thing, the government will still collect the child away from them. But in rare occasion, would you see a German citizen being collected? So the next reason that could lead to German government collecting your child away from you is when they see this child looking unkept. When they see your child looking always unkept. When they see the child looking unkept, they will see, they will think, or they will believe that. Remember, they say action speaks louder than words. They will feel that you are not taking proper care of this child. For example, your child coming to school without brushing their teeth. You, you look at their clothes. Their clothes are dirty. If the female one, you can't even comb their hair. You can't make their hair. You know, when somebody look unkept, if you see the person, you will know. So when they see your child always looking unkept, they will think that you are not taking proper care of this child and thereby taking the child away from you. Reason being that they don't want anything to happen. One thing I like about Germans is that they value life more than every other thing. So another thing that could make a German government to collect your child or to take your child away, whichever way you call it, is when your child reports you to them. Yes, you know, children born in a civilized country, like Germany, they don't lie. Whatever you do to them at home, when they go there, they will report. If they don't feel comfortable, they will tell them. And once they inform them, the government will start monitoring you. They won't believe what the child tells them immediately, no. They will start monitoring you. You wouldn't know. You wouldn't know that your child have reported you to them. They will just be monitoring your activity to find out whether what this boy said is true, what this girl said is true. They'll be monitoring you. When they conclude that what the boy or the girl tells them is true, they will take the child away from you. Reason being that they want to save the child. The last but not the least uh, reason why they can take your child away from you is when your child always, for example, in the classroom, sleeping in the classroom, when other people are learning, he's, he or she is there sleeping, they will think, oh, maybe this child doesn't sleep at night because here a school child have a time of sleep. So they will think that you don't take care of them, especially some parents, when you take your child to school, you take earpiece, cover your ears, and you don't even ask your teacher, uh, you don't even interact with your teacher, ask them, how is my son, how is my daughter doing? You just drop them, you go. When it's time to pick, you just go and pick. They will be seeing the relationship between you and this child. In kindergarten, it's not a must. In kindergarten, nursery school here is not a must, but school is a must that you take your child. So those people that is shouting, they take their child from them. And people who are not doing all these things that I just mentioned here, I beg you, especially those in Adro house, I beg you, take correction, and nobody will take your child away from you. If you have any reason, if you want to counter what I just said, write it in the comment section. 
share this video if you think i impacted idea or knowledge or tips to you share this video like and comment in the comment section remember to subscribe and god will bless you bye bye